Hey guys, and welcome back to Sounds Like a You Problem Podcast. I am your host, Daisy, and today we are going to be talking about how rejection is the ultimate form of protection. And at first, you're probably like, what? How is that protecting me? I don't get that. I don't like it. Explain. And I'm going to. And we are in a new filming space. I'm still messing with the lighting, so don't hate me. Okay? Still, still a work in progress. We will get the shadows figured out and maybe do a funner backdrop. Rejection is protection. Let's think about that for a minute. I'm not talking about getting shot down when you ask someone on a date or you come up with an idea to get lunch with all of your family and it doesn't work out with their schedule so no one can come. Those are just kind of like no's, but people label it often as rejection. And I mean, rejection is not receiving something, correct? The definition, I think. I don't know, I'm just coming up with that. <laughs> I mean, to be rejected is to not receive something you're asking for, correct? So if you're not receiving something you're asking for, maybe that's protecting you. I'm talking when an opportunity that you've been manifesting and hoping and wishing for doesn't come through, or it doesn't come through in the way you envisioned. Rejection, just like failure, is just redirection. It's redirecting you. So imagine this, I have a friend, this is a real story, and I've talked about it in my best friend breakup episode, if you guys had listened to that one, but I had a friend who was a great friend, and she recent, pretty recently, actually in the last six months, told me she no longer wanted to be my friend, no explanation, no further commentary, just fully cut me out of her life completely, and it hurt. It cut deep because we had both been so good to each other, and I didn't know why, I still don't know why? After taking the time to grieve this friendship, I had to step back and really look at what was going on. Like, literally, I had a sob fest on the couch with my boyfriend. Like, total breakdown of, like, why I'm never gonna have friends for a long amount of time. I'm never gonna have friends to stand next to me at my wedding. I'm never gonna have friends to have babies with, you know? And so, though I can acknowledge she was a great friend, I also had to acknowledge that she was not a great partner. We had been friends for about five or six years, and for most of that, she was single, and she, again, was a great person and a great friend. But when I witnessed things that happened within her relationship, like her cheating and coming to me for advice, that really threw me for a loop because I had never been near her or had an opportunity where I could question or needed to question her values or morals, but her being in a relationship and making these choices ultimately led me to see a different side of her that I'd never seen. And it gave me the opportunity to realize how she would react and handle certain situations. And I, I, not only was I not a fan of it, but I don't agree with it. It doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't feel good to my soul. And it made me question her and the way I perceived her, which ultimately made me realize that this loss wasn't a loss. That this rejection of our friendship was actually protecting me because that is not someone that I want in my life anyway. I now feel at peace knowing that someone with different morals and values is no longer a part of my life. You know what the icing on the cake of our rejection is though? that there's better out there, that there's more coming. There's more coming and it's different and it's better. I know in my heart that I will have deeper, more meaningful, more present friends later down the road. I can't deny that she was a good friend because she was to me, but there's better coming. There's a more well-rounded, better fit for me in my life that's on its way to me because I always believe that the best comes to me. So if it doesn't work out with this, it's okay because that wasn't the best and the best is on its way to me. I don't know when, but I trust God and I trust the universe to put the right things and the right people in my life at the right time. And so if I can just step back from that sorrow and that grief that I was having after this friendship breakup, I can realize that I should be grateful because something is, is on its way to me. It also gives me time to prepare if I have this ability to recognize it prior to it happening. So I was being protected. It's surface level looks like rejection, but it's not. Anytime you're out here and you're asking the universe or God or whatever you call it for something, you should always also say, or something better. Because if you're dead stuck on hoping that this brand deal with this specific brand comes through and then it doesn't, but you didn't say, or something better, then no other brand is going to come through. I heard someone talk about this in an example of their podcast, and they said that they had been wanting a brand deal with Poppy, but they always say, or something better, because what if Coca-Cola reached out to them? 
You know what I'm saying? Like Poppy is a very reputable brand, but it's very new. And Coca-Cola has been around for years, forever, forever. You know what I'm saying? So like, or something better. Recently, a lot of my clientele when it comes to lashes and makeup has seemed to dwindle very quickly. And I don't know if it's because I'm just putting so much time, effort and energy into TikTok, YouTube and the podcast now and less on advertising and marketing for the lash business, but it has dwindled and I can look at it as a way that like I'm not receiving that income anymore or those clients or they're going somewhere else but I don't I reframe it because that's not rejection it's not something I'm not receiving it's protecting me and it ultimately is lining up for my life to be about content creation because that's my dream that's my goal that's what I'm working towards okay so something better is on its way so when I lose those clients it really just allows me to have more time to work on my passion, to work on my dream, to put the work in. And that's what I'm doing with that time. Again, I could do well and be really sad about that, but I don't because I know that or something better is coming. Another thing is that those things are not meant for you and to receive new, better things, you have to make space physically and you know, spiritually, emotionally, all of those things. So if you don't have the space or capacity to receive something more or new or better, you're never going to get it, right? Because energy. So get rid of it, which is another reason I'm cleaning my entire house out. I took six bags to Goodwill this morning. I am so proud of myself. I'm also rearranging my space, focusing on my goals, making sure that I'm really delving into what it is that I want out of 2024 and, and taking the time to do that. So the next time you get rejected or you feel like you ask for something and it doesn't come through the way you envisioned, look at it and it really think about if it protected you from something because I guarantee that it did. That guy that you asked out and he rejected you, he's a manipulative narcissist. That friend that canceled lunch with you will ultimately end up falling out of your life forever and you will realize later down the road that it was for these new friends to come in or because you were going to move states or you were going to get a huge job opportunity and they weren't going to understand it or they constantly were pitting themselves against you and it wasn't good for them. There are so many ways that rejection is a form of protection and it means and it always will be because something better is on its way to you. So I hope that something better is on its way to you. I hope you can see it for what it is. Next time you feel like you've been rejected, question what it's protecting you from. If you guys are watching this on Spotify, I would love it if you would take the time to give me a five star rating and review. It gives me the motivation to keep posting things like this. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It helps others see this video, which helps them to hear this message, which can be really beneficial for them and for me. It's a free way to support the channel. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss the next one. And I will see you guys all in the next episode of Sounds Like a You Problem.